Okay, I decided I'd come to the other salvage yard that they're kind of high on their prices. But I am looking for that corner piece, so I thought, what the heck, might as well get, see what he's got. Anyway, found this one here, looks like it's been rolled, or hit pretty hard, Scottsdale truck. Man, this thing has been hit pretty hard. Hope nobody on the driver's side got hurt pretty bad. Scottsdale, 350, quarter jet carb, four wheel drive truck, long bed. But I'm trying to find those corner pieces. We'll see what else we can come up with here. Uh, don't really see anything that I can use. Dash is pretty cracked up too. Top is, I kind of see the whole truck has been passenger door too. Boy, they must have, somebody hit them or they hit something pretty hard. Okay, he's got some more over here. We'll kind of check them out, see what he's got going on. His are kind of mixed up a little bit. So you might see a Ford and you might see a Chevy. So this looks like a Chevy and it is. Can't get the door open. A 80s something model, but I can tell by the square headlights. And it's been picked over as usual. Can't do anything about that. All right, we'll see if there's, uh, there's a 69 or, no, I'm sorry. 71 or 72 that I've gotten parts off this truck before But I don't know if there's anything left that I could use now I'm Trying to think you know, I have that 69 step side truck Guess they stuck our speakers up there for the radio but uh Matt's all cracked up on this one, too There's not too much left of it. It was it was a pretty good old truck there at one time. I mean it when I say pretty good, I mean all the parts were mostly there, but I guess it's been picked over too. I guess you pay what you got to pay in order to get what you want. So I don't really see anything except the glove box there. There's an ashtray down there too. Don't need any of that for mine, fortunately. I'm trying to think if I need... Uh, Here's another square body, an 80s model. And it's, it's got tilt column in it. I'm kind of looking for one that's got a, maybe a factory tack. I, I missed out on one, and I'm kicking myself now uh, about a month or so ago. I didn't know if it worked or not, and it was on eBay, and by the time I went back to it, decided I had to buy it now, and I was going to go ahead and get it, and then somebody else had it before me, so that's what I get for waiting around. And that don't have no corner pieces. Y'all have to help me remember I'm looking for those corner pieces. Man, check this out. Some big old wheels on it. Uh, Silverado. Don't really see nothing I can use. I don't know why I don't have those corner pieces, but that's the way love goes. Don't have bumper guards either. Oh yeah, I'm looking for that uh, uh, air deflector too. I'd like to put one on my 78. I've done that before. No, there's not too much here on this one. Okay, that was the guy that stopped me and told me if I found anything, just hold up. He had to go somewhere. So, there's another square body, but it's already been picked over. I guess y'all was getting an idea. Hey, 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 hey. There's me a corner piece. Now, I don't know what he's going to ask for it, but that's the one part I need. 
but I will ask him before I take anything off, as he said. And I always do anyway, as a rule of thumb. I did take the glove box from the other junkyard off because they're pretty reasonable. And they were today, $10, so I can't complain about that. And there's one on the other side, too. I have the one on the other side. These are bad about coming off. Uh, they just kind of... Well, I'll show you when I take one off if I get to, but... I wound up putting a screw in old Dookie, the 78, just to make sure it doesn't come off again. And, you know, what the heck, it's it's an old crap truck anyway, so. But, I was going to say it had a good front bumper, but it looks like it's been pulled at one time. There's a Ranger. It's not a S10 Ranger, but it is a Ranger. And it's, I guess it's about stripped out too. We'll go around and. He has some more up here. I'm hoping that maybe I can get something, hopefully. As I said, his are kind of mismatched as far as Ford, Dodge, Chevy, all being here. There's a S10. It's got some big old wheels on it. But we'll go up here. Look, I think I just seen another square body. We'll look at it see what it's got. Two of them. Aha! Don't have the square pieces on it, but... Hopefully I can get those from him if he's reasonable with it. Hey, it's got the wood grain. If you like that stuff. You know that truck I have, that 78, that has the worst dash as far as cracking I think I've ever seen. Even the ones here at the junkyard are not as bad as what I have. I don't know where that thing has set. But it has set somewhere pretty hot and uh, I looked at the tags on it or yeah this is a Silverado it had air and everything but uh here's the other one this is a newer one I can tell it's a, got the square well there's the headlight bezel that'll tell you it's not a 78 look at the size of that wasper nest oh my goodness now what if you'd have run across that oh my wouldn't that have been something to run for the hills man that's that's the biggest one i've seen in a long time i hope you can see that but that's why this time of year is a good time of year to go before they all get set up and ready to come at you that is a huge wasper nest let me try to get a little bit closer here can you see that that is huge Huge, and all the all the little babies are gone. Man, that's huge. That's the biggest one I've seen in a long time. Oh my goodness, huge. Okay, I guess enough about huge. I would like to have this uh, door. Uh, let's see how hard this is to get off. Door edge guard. I don't know if I can get it off or not. Might have to have. I don't know how it's attached. I'm assuming it just pushed. Oh, okay. It's already loose down here on the end. I might ask how much that is. Phew. That wasp and they scared me. This is the best time of year to go. It's 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 getting warm, but they haven't made their nests yet, waspers and stuff. Now you can run across a snake and there's insects out, so you have to be very, very careful. And as I'm talking, I'm trying to find more square bodies. A lot of Fords and Dodges in here. I know there's some more up here, so we'll check it out. I don't know if there's any more down in here in this particular area. I'm kind of looking, but looks like mostly Fords. Some Chevrolets. A Zuzu. We'll go up here and look. And I wish I hadn't wore this jacket now. I'm kind of down in a hollow. And uh, the wind's not blowing. And I don't need it. Matter of fact, I'm pretty close to my truck. I think I'll take it off. Hang on. Okay, I pulled my jacket off. And told the guy running the place that I was interested in that corner piece. And uh, he was on the phone and said he'd come out there with me and look at it. But... I, I told him just keep talking on the phone. I'm still going to look around. Here's another square body. 
And I think I had this on my last video from last fall. Got the tube grill and everything. But here's another one. Hey, that's got the corner pieces too. Still got the motor. You know, this thing would probably run. I had this on my last video that I made if you want to look at it. Not, not much has changed up in here. I don't believe still the same still the same ones still got the Camaro with the t-tops and I think this is the 81 because that's the only year as far as I know that has this piece on the, on the hood t-top car it looks like they've cocked it up where it's been leaking Z28 I, I'd like to have that actually and I like these old Chevys but I'd love to have this hood ornament right here that is really cool isn't it I'd like to put that on my old 57 Chevy truck Probably want a lot for that though. This is a two door. There's that bake light stuff I was telling you about again. See how it's kind of cracking? Some of it's good if it wasn't in the sun very much, but the shifter on this one, it's still on there, but you can see it's getting pretty brittle. And I predict if you used it several times, it'd probably just get worse and worse as time goes on. Hey, another Chevy. There's a lot of Chevy square body trucks right here. Windshield's busted on this one. No 53, 54 Ford car. Two door post. There's them corner pieces I'm needing. I, I hope he doesn't want a whole lot for it. Man, that dash is so much better. So much better than what's on a, my old 78. Man, I don't think I'll get in there. Look at all that stuff hanging in there. Ooh. Okay, here's another one. Somebody's painted this dash blue. It was red. Every one of them has a better dash than what my old Dookie truck has, the 78. I call it old Dookie because it, everybody says it looks like crap, which I won't use the word they use, but maybe it does. I don't know. I guess it does. Just kind of looking around. I, I was going to see if they'd maybe change some inventory. I don't know if the scrap is down and they're just hanging on to it for a while or what. But here's this old 56 Chevrolet still that they loaded down with bob wire and everything else trying to weight it down. Now, these are those scuff guards that you was an option you could put on your, keep your fingernails. You know, women had long fingernails stuff put in there. And wouldn't scratch paint. Somebody's already got the door mirror off, but. I bet this was a pretty car back in the day. Four door uh, post car. Anyway, looks like a 55 or 6 Ford four door post car. I don't know what year this truck is. Could be a 67. Could, let me see this hood. No, I think it's a maybe a 70 through 72 because of the hood. say 68 no 69 or 70 that's what it is judging from the ground and let me tell you i'm standing to be corrected at any time ford torino here fairlane whatever uh, ted russell ford check that out old scout wish that bunker wouldn't been i'd love to have that to put on my well I got rid of it. So what am I talking about? Don't know for sure. But it's got a deep, well, pad. Dash pad is cracked on that end. I spoke before I knew what I was speaking about. Comet. 49 Ford. Dodge. Another square body. That's what I'm looking for. Silverado. It's got the corner pieces too still got the motor in it boy it's been sitting for a long time before they pulled it in here because that had some really serious thorn bushes growing up in it and even that dash looks better than what mine looks like old Chevy truck Chevy trucks old Ford truck now this truck right here reminds me it looks just like the one Fred Sanford had from Sanford and Son of course it was a whole truck. 
It's red and everything, just like Fred Sanford's flathead. Man. Well, looks like the frame's rusted in two. Probably had to take it out in two. Two carries, I guess, to get it out. Another square body. Corner pieces. I'm going to try to wrap this up another Camaro with the big center caps. Most of the time, those got stolen really quick back in the day. It's funny how things change. Back in the day, you couldn't keep those center caps, and now you can't hardly give them away. Everybody's went to bigger wheels and tires and custom deluxe here. But nothing I need. So I guess I'm going to go back down here and see that he wants for those corner pieces. And, uh, as I'm going out there here, I'll look with you. I'll talk to you in a little bit. See you later. Okay, I'm leaving here with nothing as usual. Those uh, corner pieces, I just needed the one corner piece. He was wanting to sell me the whole kit and caboodle the, all the way around the the back of the cab and everything he didn't want to break it up and uh, he, he just didn't want to sell the one corner piece to me even though he's got several of them down there but they are his trucks so I wasn't interested he didn't price them to me I asked him about the door edge guard and he wanted 20 bucks for both of them I offered him 10 and he said it'd have to be 20 so uh, I decided to pass on it too. I don't need it. I, I'd like to have it. Like I said, I'd have given 10 for it, but that's the thing. You come down here, you wind up getting, you wind up getting mad. Uh, not mad, but upset. And you wonder why he's got so much stuff, and it's because he prices everything so high that he doesn't sell anything. And I, I don't know how they. They crush cars here, and trucks, and this, that, and the other, but as far as selling parts, it's basically the same parts that was there the last time I was there, so I don't know. They're not going to make any money off me, I'm afraid. And I think everybody else pretty much got the same idea, too, so didn't mean to waste your time, but it was something to do, and it's a pretty day. I like getting outside and looking at the leaves and the flowers that are starting to bloom other than the pollen i'm pretty happy and i'll find all the stuff i'm looking for eventually anyway perseverance being patient you'll find what you want what you need and i enjoy going to junkyards anyway so please subscribe leave a comment if you would i surely would appreciate it hope i didn't bore you to death and y'all have a good day and i'll see you later